Hello everyone, this is Jamie Black, and I am going to do a tarot reading for you for the week of Monday, March 15th. Actually, it be the week of March 14th, because I start my weeks on Sunday, but I don't do this reading until Sunday night, and I post it for Monday. Is that it would carry you all the way through until next week. And I do the reading on Sunday night and I post it Monday morning. So I'm hoping you all had a good week. We are still in the new moon. The new moon was yesterday, it was Saturday, early morning, depending on where in the world you were. Um, I think it was about 2 in the morning here in Los Angeles. And we're in the Pisces new moon. And all the planets are now direct. So it's a good time for moving forward. It's a good time for setting intentions. It's always a good time to set intentions at the new moon. Um, so let's just go ahead and have a look at what these cards say. And then get into sharing everything else that comes up as we have a look. Oh, I will just show them to you as we go. Okay, so we're starting off with the Two of Wands. So we're ready to step into something new. Um, we're in Pisces, we're in the new moon in Pisces. And so this is also the birthday moon, the birthday new moon for all of the Pisces people. This is a really good time to set your intentions for your whole year. Um, and the thing about Pisces is that it's the last sign of the zodiac wheel. So after Pisces, we are going to be going in, in, into Aries. And um, man, during this Pisces season, right, we had a lot that we dreamt about. We had a, just a lot that we felt. There's just a lot going on. Um, and so we have like um, like another week or so before we're going into Aries. So we're he we're still here. Um, but like I said, all the planets being direct, planets being retrograde, they, those are always times of reflection. Those are always times where we can't move forward. Stuff, uh, stuff comes up. We're reviewing things from the past. We're processing the things that we need to process, um, to move forward. So it's just a really good time for moving forward. And this card just kind of says it all. We're letting go of the past. We're stepping forward into the future. Also, you know, as far as um, the quarantine and the experience that we've all had this past year of things being, well, of things changing, right, and things being so different, um, we are, you know, we're about a year um, anniversary of that experience, and so there's a lot that's different now. There's a lot that's different within each of us based on this experience that we had last year. So um, we're really looking at what is it that we want to create now? What is the life that we want to create now? How, what is the new life that we're creating based on the version of ourself that we are now and also the version of the world that we're living in right now? So... looks like we keep having a little bit of this relationship stuff coming up it looks like we're just still processing um you know when we get this when we get this card in a more futuristic position in the reading it's definitely suggesting hey you're pulling this into your future you really need to process this is past disappointments this is very very often most of the time about relationship it's sadness and it's holding on to it as opposed 
to letting go of it and then being free of it. And so we can look at this Knight of Wands reversed here. This is uh, has the energy of someone that um, that you were in some sort of relationship with and that you're still holding on to a little bit of the disappointment of all of that. So just complete your work with all of that stuff. Just new moons are really great for um, what is my, like starting here, what is my truth? What is my truth now? What are the things I've learned from the past experiences I just went through? New uh, Working with the moon gives us these really um, usable short cycles that, um, that we can use, right? So when we're at the new moon, we've just completed like a whole cycle of the moon being new, growing to full, and then waning back down to no moon and then new moon again. So um, what is it? I would say it's a really good time for everyone to just take some inventory with their own self in regards to like who look at who you were this time last year how you were feeling about everything that was going on obviously I don't even think we had gotten the lockdown um, messages yet here at, at least in California in the US they were happening very soon in the next few days um, so you know there was so much that we went through in regards to that and um, that affected us and then so many people got in relationships and interactions romantic you know interludes and connections and things with people like during the time of the quarantine because there wasn't a lot else to do and so people were really focusing on this significant other wanting to have a significant other wanting to connect with people because we were so kept apart so stepping into the new cycle you know you really just need to let all that stuff go and also acknowledge that even in regards to romance and relationships you are different now and if you're not looking at it that way and you're not allowing yourself to be changed then maybe you need to take a moment with that we've all been affected by what it is that we've been through regardless of what uh, opinions you have or what beliefs you have or what ways that you responded to all of the things that were going on last year you have been activated and you have been experienced in this experience that we went through and then certain opportunities presented themselves to you that you got involved in with people relationships um, some people chose to be totally solitary but that's not what's going on for any of you that are showing up uh, to hear this reading. That's what I always say about these readings. If you show up, if you feel called to watch this, if you're listening to this, then there's something in it for you. Because, of course, we don't all have the same exact story, but the way that these, the way that these messages are, um, sometimes it really is your story, and the things that I'm saying are, like, it really for you. You were, this. there's a message in there regarding your personal story for you, and then sometimes it's just a little bit of, um, maybe perspective on a situation. So, time to move forward. We have the Ace of Swords here. This is like a nod from your guides. This is an acknowledgement from your guides saying, you have the idea. And we put it there. So we are acknowledging that idea that you have. It's a good idea. And we put it there. And we want you to listen to that. Whatever that idea is that you have, whatever it is that you have clarity about, whether it's about a situation or whether it's about something that you're wanting to do now, the guides are saying, they're acknowledging that that is something that is real from them and so that you should listen to it. Um, so still um, making sense of everything, balancing these energies so we have the temperance card so this is fire this is alchemy this is alchemizing your experiences with yourself with your knowledge with your new knowledge what and and what do you get you know from that so we're talking about personal growth personal growth growth in your business this is something that is uh it takes a long period of time. It's an evolution. 
There's acknowledgement of growth. There is an acknowledgement of there being money. And you just, it's time for you to get on the horse with your ideas, right? So this sword here is this sword here. So this is when it's about us and we're clear or we have the idea. And this is like believing in the idea, following the idea, getting on the horse and going forth with it. This sometimes has to do with like mental aspects because there's a sword in the in the image here. So we this could have things this could have to do with like a message, something that needs to be spoken, something that if you're a writer, um, a communicator, that's what this has to do with. You have something that you want to get out and that's what your guides are acknowledging. Um, it's time, it's time for that. It's time for you to battle, it's upside down. It's time for you to um, just step up and, and battle the forces that sometimes just th they seemingly are keeping you back or just the effort, just the amount of effort that it seems like it takes or that it might actually take. The work that you have to do, it's just time. It's time for you to fight it. It's time for you to, um, to believe in your message, to believe in the messages that are coming to you. And um, there's money here. So there's very much um, like a new, this is maybe like it's new. Maybe, maybe this is a new project. It's a new business venture. Um, money is flowing and you know it looks like this opportunity and everything is also just timely it's building upon your personal growth so looking into the future here we have the Sun that is upside down King of Wands King of Swords upside down we got this guy upside down and we have the nine of swords here. So there's some male energy coming in. And this is gonna be this king of wands energy. This is very passionate and it's fire, right? So it's passionate, these people, that have this energy are brilliant. They hold court, like they're magnetic. So this is someone that has like a, this is someone who has a powerful position. Um, they can be the boss. They can be, um, but they're just, it's not a boy, right? This is not somebody who is like young and inexperienced and like at the beginning of their journey. This is a man. And this is um, which the the message here is in regards to this person who isn't necessarily here yet. We're looking at the future. This energy is coming in. Not all of the information is available to you. We have the sun is upside down. Not all of the information is available to you, and not all of the information that is to be shared is being shared with you so this person it's the same person this person is withholding information the king of swords when we have him upright he's integrity he speaks his truth and he's a communicator and so when we have him upside down he's holding on to information so it doesn't always have to necessarily be lying directly but they're withholding information. And so the sun upside down is just saying there's not all the information is available to you for whatever reasons. And so um, I would say whatever the situation is for you to just not dump all of your eggs in one basket, just proceed with, ca proceed with caution, proceed with the information that is given to you here, that not all of the information is available to you at this time. 
So it means you need to just go a little bit slower. We're still in Pisces, so this is a really good time to be listening to your intuition because all of that is up right now. Um, you know, any sign is going to be the way that that sign is because of the time that they're born into. So this time is ruled by Pisces for a reason. And so if you think about what it feels like, how sensitive you are, how perceptive you are right now, how your dreams are communicating to you, how spirit is communicating to you in the different ways that it does, but how you're really feeling it right now. Um, this is why Pisces are this way, have this sensitivity, are super perceptive because they're born into a time that feels like that. And so that's what is going on during this time. And so for all of us, we can draw upon that. Um, but the, just the comment about this King of Wands energy that's coming in is that this creates uh, this for you. So this is some worry, some anxiety, some overthinking, some not being able to sleep. It's never anyone else's fault how we react to situations but people absolutely are triggers and they show up with their energy it's chemistry and then this is how we respond so this is just the message for you here is that you've been doing a lot of your own personal work you're stepping into something new you are listening to that message inside of you that uh, regardless of how you may feel about it, you may be a little resistant, um, but there is a clear idea of something for you to do, um, you know, regarding this mission, something it is that you need to communicate. It's time for you to get in, just get in the game with this. It's time. And in the process of all of this, there's some new energy that's coming in and there it's represented by the King of Wands. Um, this doesn't always have to be a man, but this is masculine energy and it's masculine fiery energy and it's fixed and it's dominating and it might be bright and brilliant and super sexual and exciting, but it all also can like be very, um, well, this energy can definitely be very controlling, but what it's saying here um, is that this might look very enticing or exciting. So just proceed with caution because you don't have all of the information yet. So you can do yourself a favor here, not get yourself all the way into this situation just by being discerning, taking your time, being grounded, trusting yourself, listening to your intuition, and then we'll see how it goes from there. So if you're interested in having a one-on-one -on -one reading, get in touch with me. I do readings for 45 minute and 90 minute sessions. All of my information will be here below and you can find me at jamieblack.com. And uh, with that, I hope you have an awesome week. Blessed be.